We're gonna give you four of the best strength exercises that you can use to improve soccer or your football skills, and we're gonna start right now. So inside breaking down soccer, we've gotta look through the lens of what it is, okay? It's an extraordinarily complex sport. There's a lot of foot eye coordination. There's a lot of high speed movements. There's a ton of classical endurance. There's a lot of agility. So we have to be training that dynamic trunk control. And some of those different factors have to be done through, let's just say squatting, but also running sprints, running hills. But how can we actually piece all of this together? And one of those other aspects that I like to think about is when people are actually scoring, they most likely will be running at a very, very high speed. And then as they are about to shoot, okay, there's gonna be a very rapid cut. And that's something that we have to piece into the training while also factoring in that classical endurance so that in the 89th minute, someone can still put out a large amount of force and have control over their dribbling over the ball. Okay, so all these things have to be factored in when we're thinking about these top four exercises that you can use to become a better player. Okay, so soccer requires a large amount of endurance. It also requires a very large amount of speed. So what's a movement that can actually help us with that speed? And if we can think through that lens of different exercises, different strength characteristics as well. You know, strength characteristic might be blast impulse or sustained impulse. That's being really, really explosive in a short period of time. And if we look through that lens of that strength characteristic, that's gonna take us to an exercise a technical coordination movement. And that's where the high hang clean comes into play. And if we can think about in soccer, loading that posterior chain, coming forward, loading the posterior chain, learning how to extend from the hips with the glutes, with the hamstrings, that's gonna play a very large role in one, being able to jump really, really high, just like CR7, and also two, being able to put a large amount of force into an implement and changing that direction very rapidly. So if we look at soccer and we look at the high hand clean and we're doing four sets of three or five sets of two, something along those lines, let's say during the comprehension phase or during the ascension phase, that's gonna improve our ability to change direction. That's gonna improve our overall strength and our capability of recruiting high threshold motor units when we're under a little bit of fatigue. So use high hand clean at least once a week to improve your soccer capabilities. Okay, so when we're looking at soccer, I had mentioned that high speed running, and then you have to plant, and then you can cut. Okay, so what exercise can we use to improve that capability? Also, we have to think about when we're moving rapidly, or if we have to plant here and then jump in a different direction. Let's say we're going up for a header or something along those lines. There's a lot of trunk control. We're gonna be in a unilateral position, and we wanna make sure that we're not collapsing. So we have to train that strength mechanism, okay? We have to train through that realm. We have to train through that lens. And that's where that next exercise comes into play. And that is going to be a single leg squat. I'm gonna give you two variations, okay? So we can do a single leg squat like so. I didn't warm up at all. Oh. Okay, so that's gonna help light up your posterior chain. It's gonna light up your hamstrings, your glutes. It's gonna help with the trunk, what we talked about, without collapsing all over the place. I do recommend training your weak leg. My weak leg's my right leg. I do recommend training your weak leg first. Now, if you don't want to use a bar, okay, let's say we're in season and we're doing four sets of five on each leg. Two of those sets we can do unbroken that are a little bit faster. If you don't want to use a barbell because you've got a game in two days, that's a great example. In that case, the reps might be four sets of five on each leg, but the intensity is gonna drop because we don't want you to be sore. We still wanna train the posterior chain. That's where the goblet squat will come into play. So we're gonna pick up a dumbbell, okay? Get this dumbbell set here, get set, boom, boom, boom. And we can be a little bit more upright and have a little rhythm. Okay, so we need to make sure that we're focusing on that unilateral strength, we're training that trunk control, and that in turn, it's gonna help us jump off of one leg. It's gonna help us run a little bit faster. It's gonna make us cut a little bit quicker. And you've got to be using that garage strength single leg pad and roller that are available at garagestrength.com. Okay, so we're gonna show you two crazy lunge variations. Now, I really, really like an exercise like this, mainly because it's gonna force your abs to fire at a very high rate while we're doing a drop lunge. Okay, and this is gonna help with that change of direction. 
So if you're a soccer player, you have to cut quickly to get out of a position and potentially lead to a score. And if you're using that type of lunge, okay, a drop lunge, it's offset, it's gonna force you to be a little bit more stable. If you're a little more stable, you can cut a little bit quicker. Now, if you wanna use just a heavier load, you can do that here, boom, and come back up. And you don't have to use the band. That's a power elastic, available at garagestrength.com. But if you don't want to use that band, again, you can just use a load here, come down, and then drive back up. And then as you progress through those sets, it can turn into a more rapid drop lunge, okay? So right here, boom, come back up. I'd say do five sets of five on each leg, focusing on the glutes, focusing on the quads, and making sure that when we're doing this, we're not dumping our chest forward. We're staying upright, we're staying nice and tense, and we have that dynamic trunk control. Okay, now we went through a technical coordination movement, then we gave you that absolute strength exercise, and we gave you a sweet accessory with the offset drop lunges. I think the offset drop lunges are a really, really quick way to get very, very explosive, but now we're gonna give you the best way to develop even more blast impulse, okay? And even more capability to cycle quickly. Bear with me because I'm not the best at these. What we're gonna use is a stair jump, okay? And when we're doing a stair jump, we're gonna do it in a unilateral position. So if we can think about driving rapidly, controlling our trunk, now we're taking all the principles that we talked about and we're actually applying it to a more specific setting. If we can apply high speed training, that's gonna transfer even better out onto the pitch. So we're gonna do a single leg stair jump. Now, what I would say is just go nice and easy. You can build into this as a progression. My right leg sucks. Okay, so I'm gonna do my right leg first. And I'm just gonna go here, boom, easy, boom, easy, boom, one more, boom. Okay, so I did four. And I might have sounded like a Clydesdale leaving potholes on the steps, but if I go left footed here, boom, 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 boom. Okay, so you do that one time through. Take a little bit of a breather. Let's say you rest 20 to 30 seconds, 60 seconds. Give that a little bit of time to help with that recovery. Now you can see you gotta be a little bit smoother. Same thing here, we wanna think about the quick turnover. Fast amortization phase. Here, boom, 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 boom. And you saw me fall into that wall there because I wasn't having a nice dynamic trunk control position. I'm gonna show you one more on the left side. So use stair jumps from a single leg aspect to improve that ability to turn over and to cut rapidly and to control that trunk. We wanna think about the technical coordination movement, the absolute strength exercise, the accessory, piece that together with that sweet plyometric. So if you guys need help with your overall training for soccer, you need to improve your strength and your speed. You can head over to peakstrength.app, the Google Play Store or the Apple iOS Store, and you can download Peak Strength for free. And during those seven free days of training, you're going to see an increase in your overall strength. You're going to see an increase in your movement vocabulary. And if you don't like it, you can cancel it at any time during those seven free days of training. The worst thing that you can do on your journey to attaining peak strength is to do nothing. Because remember, freaks, if you want to become a champion, you've always got to cultivate your power. Peace.